All right, what up, guys? It's your girl, Manda Meeks, and I am back with more Agatha all along. If you're enjoying this reaction series, just subscribe to my channel, go subscribe. I'm here, you're here, let's be here together. Down below it, in the description, on Patreon, patreon.com, which has Manda Meeks, over there, fully version of my reaction, so you to clear and such access series. And also, for merch appetites, I see the all type of things, which I'm to support monetarily, those who are on Patreon, and again, merch out. You can support monetarily, support free daily, how you may subscribe. Why? Be out, just free. It costs it all, subscribe to the button, the location, go find my videos free. And also, the gaming channel, which I'm going through Dragon Age Origins. I really did have a plan to do a, a series playthrough, but the way I play, I did not make it. I should have started earlier, but I was playing too many other games that being said i'll probably only be able to get through dragon age origins before veil guard but that's okay with me i just wanted to play some dragon age before dragon age 4 veil guard came out so interesting that's gonna be on Manimix gaming and listen last week we had a god it was such a good episode i love this show you know what i'm saying i love this show it's giving me everything i need it's like sisterhood of the traveling witch hats or something i don't know it's just so good. Um, last episode was the fire trial, which was um, Alice's, pretty much Alice's trial, um, where they went into this house that took them back into the 70s when her mother was making popular songs and her version of the witch's road. And they discover while in that room that one, Rio, is there to collect the bodies of the dead witches as they die or the dead in people as they die. Cause you know, um, Sharon was not a witch, but she is dead. And I'm pretty sure Rio got that body or will get that body. Um, and then Agatha being Agatha, we know that there's some history between the two of them, but we don't know. Like, it's just, it's weird. It's weird between the two of them. We know what she is, I think, or they, Agatha knows what she is, but is not telling anybody else and trying to keep it pretty much off radar. But she also wants to take the suspicion off of her and put it onto Rio so that people are aware of what she is trying to do. Um, but while they're having that conversation and spreading it out into the, with the, to the other witches by using like the microphone, Teen decides to touch and play a record that pretty much puts a curse on them. And it's the same curse that Lorna Wu had on her family. So that means Alice has the curse as well and Alice was like well my shoulders feel so light and lifted that's because the curse was off of her and now on everybody else so it had the opportunity to fly around and like attack whomever so once they figured out that this was a familiar curse and the only way to beat it is to play the witch's road song but they were like well we have to play your mother's version because technically the more people that played it the more protection you would have so she turned her version of the witch's road into a protection spell so they had to play the spell and it was just really cool watching them play it in a different cadence and a different in different tone it was just great now we got to see that thing that thing was thinking wasn't she that thing was like wow it looked it was a bat woman it was a it, i don't know man it was a cat bat woman it was there's a lot happening in the facial region she had wings um but they were able to smite it with a wonderful rendition of the witch's road but while they were doing that, the teen got attacked by it earlier and had a shard of glass in his side and he collapsed. And you got to see Agatha panic for the very first, like she was panicking, panicking about the teen being hurt because she just assumed that he was her child, um, either reincarnated or like brought back because you know, the, the sigil on his mouth. So, she was freaking the hell out and jennifer actually was able to use magic moonlight to save him i don't think rio saved him as much people are like talking about that theory i just think that she was waiting for his body she was like i can't save him but i can kill him and if i kill him i can have the body and that's what she was looking at but then um rio realized that she might she i get the things that this is her kid and that's a problem so after he's saved they're having their powwow around the fire they're talking about their battle scars and what happened to Jennifer, how she doesn't know how this man with no powers bound her powers. Like he's not a witch, he's not a warlock, but he bound her powers. She has no idea why. Um, and then we see Rio talking about how she has a scar and she talks about how she was told to do something to, to a person that she really cared about that she didn't want to do, but it was just doing her job and she did it. And now she, that person is a scar on her heart and that made Agatha feel the type of way. And so they got up and had this conversation. It was just real close. It was real close, real sensual. And Rio really broke that sensual tension. It was like, he's not your son. And she was just like, 
fuck you mean? What you mean? And that's where we left off. So I'm super excited to jump into this next episode. Season one, episode five of Agatha All Along, Darkest Hour, Wake Thy Power. Is she about to pop up? Oh. This is like, uh-uh, I don't like them. I don't, I don't want it. Oh, not the skittering. They're coming. We have to go. Come on, someone finish the story. Mm -hmm. Her sister witches. She spared their young children. Where the fuck is Agatha? All right, everybody pack up your shit. Let's go. She loves slipping that damn coat. She's side saddling hers. Oh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Those things are creepy. I don't like you, ma'am. You better give me. <laughs> Focus, focus, ass. I love it. <sighs> the rogue! It's forcing us down! <laughs> <laughs> of course she would. The next trial. Oh, um, you better go up. Oh, never mind. Oh, girl, you better get that wig going. What is this? A uh, freaking what's, what's it called? Sleepover? Thank you. Who's is this? Okay. It's like a scary movie sleepover. Which trial is this? <laughs> Agatha's. Oh, not a Ouija board. We have to Ouija. Do not under any circumstances remove your hand from the planchette. If you do so, a spirit will be released. So all of them have to touch it. What does that say in the back there? For ages three and up. <laughs> She's like, read the whole book, please. Wonder who's waiting for you. Your mother. Could be. Literally. It could be Wanda. But it's not gonna be. Agatha, sweetie. What you want, dog? Hello. A. R. Mrs. Hart? T. Mrs. Hart? Oh. Your hands. What did you do? I... Oh. oh my. Living my tiny life in the Conspiracy theories on Facebook. Listen. She's just scared. Cha, I can't stand her ass. I thought that was pretty good. The clock is ticking. I can't stand her ass. I'm like, really? Who is here with us tonight? A. T. Death? Punish. Well, not me. Who? Who do you want to punish? Why are you? A. Oh, G. A. T. Stop. No, there has to be another way. Right. Are you possessed? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh my gosh, what's oh. happening? Oh. Child, I can't. Bruh, not her ch girl. Where is she? Agatha! Uh-uh. No. You better punch her. Um, girl, what? Oh, 
Oh, that her mother. Is a ghost. And you fools have willingly joined her. Stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> sure. Emotion ties them to this plane. They have unfinished business. Leave her with me. No! No way! What is the history? Why do you hate me still? You were born evil. Yeah. I ought to have killed you the moment you left my body. Jesus! There's no flood here, there's no fire. The only danger to us in this trial is Agatha Harkness. Don't leave me with her! I can be good! Please! Why are you doing that, Agatha? A S S C R A T C H. It was scratch. You did not kill her! Alice, Alice, wake up! Alice, please wake up! Alice! Alice, please, please wake up! Alice! Alice <sighs> don't touch her! She was protecting you! But you don't deserve it! You did! Why did you have to eat all her power? Girl, what? Bruh. Death comes for us all. <sighs> so that's what it means to be a witch? Killing people to serve your own agenda? So much like your mother. She figured it out. Where did Rio go? Oh, Rio has the body. You should see me in the. <laughs> I fucking hate y'all. Not in Billy Eilish. <laughs> oh, shut your whore mouth. This episode is so short. I'm so mad. I'm so bad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Listen. Hold on, let me let me hold on. Uh 
listen, I can't believe she's dead. I'm sad. I'm sad. What did Alice do? What did Alice do? What is, what is, she, why? Like not her fault, but man, what did she do to deserve this? Trash, trash. Oh man, I'm really sad about that. I don't think you understand how sad about that. I didn't think they would kill anybody else. I thought they only killed Mrs. Hart or Sharon because she was over here, uh, not, she was, she was a human. And notice we haven't seen Rio yet. Like, where is Rio? What is she doing with the body? Like, what is her? I'm irritated. Not really. I'm just sad. My feelings is hurt. My feelings are big, fat, juicily hurt. Man. Man. But how does she know who he was? Even after Rio was like, that's not your son. How did she get the rest of that? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have so many questions, but no answers that are gonna happen today. So on that note, guys, Thanks for hanging with me and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I'm sad. She did not deserve that. Damn, I love Dallas. She has such a killer episode. Oh, she broke the, oh. So did she really break the curse? You know what?